Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello and welcome to the show today. Something that kind of confuses people, I think. Quarter system versus semester system in college. What's this all about? So let's take a look. All right, depending on where you go to school, your class schedule may follow a semester system or a quarter system. Each system has its own advantages and disadvantages, so we'll dive into that today too. Choosing one that works for you can help you succeed in your academic career. It can actually give you the flexibility you need to take more classes, change your major, or manage school with other obligations like a job or family. So we'll dive into those differences between the two systems and then what you should know about them to make the best choice for you and your family. All right, so first, what's the difference between these two systems? The biggest difference between a quarter and a semester system is how coursework is scheduled. This can affect the number of courses a student can take and how they balance their coursework with other stuff like an internship or even a part-time job. So the semester system is the most common system, and it and it's one students are probably most familiar with. It's broken down into two 15-week terms with classes going from late August into early May. You usually get a fall break, spring break for each semester, even a winter break for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that kind of stuff, and a summer break between semesters too. While students do take extra classes during the summer, it's really not typically part of a full-time student's course load. Students in a semester system usually take around 15 credits per semester, which equals around four or five classes per term. Now let's take a look at the quarter system. So a quarter system consists of three or four terms, each 10 weeks long. Some schools operating on a semester system may offer courses all year round, while others start the year in September and end in October. Students typically take three or four classes per quarter, or right around 12 credits. Even though students in a quarter system take fewer classes per quarter, they can take more spread out across the year. This makes it easier for some students to take more classes, allowing them to graduate early if they wish to do so. So is a quarter system or better than a semester system? You might be wondering. All right, so one system isn't necessarily better than the other, but some students may benefit from the course load of one system over another. A quarter system allows students to take more classes during the year. It's pretty cool. And this not only makes it possible to graduate early, but also makes it easier for some students to repeat a course if they have to. Because most schools operate under a semester system, this will likely be the default option for a bunch of students. So understanding the benefits and drawbacks of each system gives students the option of selecting a school that offers the right system just to help them excel academically. Now the pros and cons of a quarter system. Let's dive in. The pros are a smaller course load with only three or four classes per quarter. The course load of a semester system can kind of make it easier to balance with your obligations like a full-time job if you have one. The ability to graduate early. This is huge. Even though a quarter system has fewer classes per quarter, you can actually take more classes throughout the year, knock it out, and it makes it possible to graduate early, which also saves a bunch of money. Less disruptions. So because the duration of a quarter system is longer, there are fewer breaks between quarters, and this reduces disruptions, and it can really make it easier for students who want to stay focused on their studies anyway. The cons? (laughs) There's really one big one. It's not compatible with internships or study abroad. Most schools offer semester systems, which means the majority of supplemental educational opportunities are designed around semesters rather than quarters. And this can make it difficult to pursue an internship or study abroad program, especially if it's offered through another institution that operates on a semester schedule. Now the pros and cons of a semester system. The pros are there's just more time in the classroom. Classes taught in a semester system last longer than in a quarter system, which gives students more time to engage with course material, interact with their classmates, and build rapport with their professors. And it's similar to what students already know. A lot of high schools operate on a semester system, and this makes the transition to college a little bit smoother. The cons? Difficult to change majors or redo coursework. That's the big one. There's just less flexibility in a semester system. A student might have to wait to change a major or repeat a course if they need to boost their GPA. Here's how to transfer between systems. 
So understanding the difference between a quarter versus semester system is really important because some students might want to transfer to a school offering the opposite system. Depending on how coursework is converted, it can affect a student's timeline for graduation. Typically, one credit from a quarter system is equivalent to one and a half credits in a semester system. That means 12 quarter credits will be equal to 18 credits in a semester system. While this can work out well for students transferring into a semester system, students transferring out of it can come up short on credit hours. For example, a full-time student with 30 credits from a semester system would only have about 20 credits in a quarter system. That's kind of a lot of wasted time. <laughs> the bottom line? The semester system is the default option for most students, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option. The quarter system allows students to take fewer courses spread out throughout the year. This can make it easier to balance other obligations or graduate earlier. So with this option, some students who would benefit from greater flexibility can seek out a school that offers a quarter system that to better suit their needs. And that was our quick show for today, just a rundown between quarter and semester systems. If you want to dive a little bit deeper, always check us out at thecollegeinvestor.com. You can find out all kinds of tips and tricks about how to get scholarships for college, how to minimize how much you're paying and how much debt you have, all of it at thecollegeinvestor.com. Follow us all over social media too. Just search for The College Investor and you'll find us. We'd love to get to know you better. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you again real soon.